Hi AQA, my students didn't seem to understand how to use context in a relevant way in their exam. Can we have some further guidance and examples of how to do this more effectively? This is a GCSE English Literature question. Our advice would be link the text to its contextual factors. Applying context correctly is more important than bolting on historical, biographical or cultural information. Applying context is about contextual factors that influence the way the writer has consciously constructed the text in order to create meaning. Assessment Objective 3 focuses on the relationship between the text and their contexts. The significant word being relationships. We can suggest some approaches. You can encourage students to consider how the writer's conscious construct can be influenced by contextual ideas. Students could think of the text first and then how context might inform a reading and then comment on the relationship between the two. Students will need to show they understand the relationship between the texts and the context in which they were written. However, keep in mind that the text always comes first. To help students understand how to approach context, encourage them to think about the ideas and influences that really help us understand the text on a deeper level. This spans the plot, the characters and the themes. These might be related to when the text is set or read, cultural or social ideas, or even the wider literary context. We've identified teacher resources to help you further and collected the links. Go to aqa.org.uk forward slash u dash asked dash English. Our guide, Further Insights, Teaching Context, demonstrates how AO3 is assessed in an exam. Our examiner's report on the summer 2017 series breaks down how students have approached context. Finally, we really liked a blog post from the English and Media Centre called Noticing Context, Putting the Text First, which is worth a read. Once again, that's aqa.org.uk forward slash u dash asked dash English. We hope this has been useful. We'll be back next time with more of your questions.